Now we're going to talk about drawing conclusions. So in drawing conclusions, we're just going to answer questions for the activity. So for our first one, um, si Samuel brought 10 sachets of chocolate candies. He checked the sachets and found that they contain 12, 15, 16, 10, 15, 16, 15, 12, 12 candies. So yung 10 sachets, yung isang sachet, 12 lang laman. Sa isa 15, sa isa 16, so on and so forth. Tapos yung sinabi dito, isang average content daw is 14. So average daw um, is 14. So karamihan daw yung, if you solve the mean of the ano, it's more or less 14 ang nasa loob. So, swerte na kung 16 ka or 15 kasi ibig sabihin mas marami yan sa karamihan. So, according to the data, what is the mean number of candies per sachet? So, um, according to the data, itong mga data na to, kukunin natin yung mean number of candies. So, what we're going to do is we're going to add 12 plus 15 plus 16 plus 10 plus 15 plus 16 plus 15 plus 12. So, let's check kung 10 ba ito parang kaunti na siya. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, I'm sorry for that. It's instead of 10 sachets, it should be 8. So, divide by 8 and then that's the mean. So, 12 plus 15 plus 16 plus 10 plus 16 plus 15 plus 12 divided by 8. The answer is 12. I think it's wrong. 12 plus 15 plus 16 plus 10 plus 15 plus 16 plus 15 plus 12 divided by 8. It's 13.875. 13.875. So that's the mean. But the above information is written on each pack of candies. The average content is 14. Why do you think this number is different from the answer to A? So why do you think it's different? So 13.875, it's different with the average content, which is 14. So there are, there could be many answers. One could be, it's because the number of number of chocolate candy so instead of 13.87 kasi wala namang 13.87 na, na candy sa loob ng isang pack it's it's a whole number so instead na 13.87 ang ginawa nila is ni round off ito so that it will go to have a it will go to have a whole number so instead of 13.875 they use they rounded it off ginawa nilang 14 so that's why the average cut is 14. That's why they are different. However, if you round this off, ang sagot is pareho lang. And here, the municipal agricultures of Kananga made a survey of fruit trees available in the orchard. He made a chart that shows the distribution of types of fruits, fruit trees planted. So this is the chart, the pie chart. How do the number of durians and rambutan trees compare? So, how do the number of durian daw at saka rambutan trees compare? So, this is durian, 20, at saka rambutan is 40%. So, if you're going to compare them, what's their, what's their difference? So, 20%, 40%. So, isipin natin 20 um, durian at saka rambutan is 40%. So, if you see the durian, the rambutan is twice the, num the number of rambutan trees is twice as many as the durian. Kasi di ba, 20% tapos 40%. So, twice as many siya. So, 20 at saka 40. So, you could also have the rambutan is more than durian. More than twice the durian. Or, it's the rambutan is more than durian. So, that's the easiest answer. So, what is the most common fruit trees? Yung pinakamalaki, yung siyang common. So, it's rambutan. Next. What fraction of the fruit trees is santol? So, what fraction? It's 10%. So, 10% or fraction talaga natin. It's 10 over 100 or simply 1 over 10. 1 tenth. If there are 150 fruit trees all together, how many are mangosteen trees? So the mangosteen is 20%. So 20% of 150, just multiply 150 
times 20% in decimal is 0 0.2 or 0 0.20. So, times na natin yan, the answer is 30. So, ibig sabihin there are 30 mangosteen kapag 150 lahat-lahat ng trees. Next, we're going to have this bar graph. So, si Mrs. Amodia, the school librarian, prepared a bar chart that shows the number of students who borrowed magazines in the library last week. So, this is the number of magazines or the number of students who borrowed the magazines in the library last week. So, sa so Monday, it's 10. For Tuesday, wala talagang ng hiram. For Wednesday, it's 15. For Thursday, it's 25. For Friday, it's 15. So, how many magazines were borrowed on Friday? So, Friday, it's 15. How many students magaz borrowed magazines on that day? 15. We are not really sure. Um, in the year, number of magazines borrowed. So, 15. However, in dito kasi, it's the number of students. So, we're going to have that. It's one per student. Ang hiniram. So, one per student na lang. Thinking that it's one per student. So, what is the mean number of magazines borrowed per day last week? So, what is the mean number? So, kailangan natin yung mean number. Ibig sabihin, kailangan natin kunin yung average. So, sa Monday, it's 10. For Tuesday, 0. For Wednesday, it's 15. Mean ang hinahanap kasi. So, mean, i-plus natin. At saka, i-divide natin by the number of days. So, the number of days is 5. So, Plus natin yung 10, plus 15, plus 25, plus 15, divided by 5. So, the mean is 13. How many students borrowed magazine in all of the 5 days? So, i-plus natin yung nasa taas. So, 10, plus 25, plus 15, plus 15, that's 65. On what day had the most number of students borrowed magazine? So, it's clear. Yung what day pinakamarami daw. Yung pinakamataas is Thursday. How many students borrowed magazines on Tuesday? So, ilang daw nung borrowed nung Tuesday? So, wala dito. So, it's zero. Next. The pie chart below shows the membership of the different clubs in Ormoc City National High School. What is the ratio of the number of students who are members of computer club to that, a to that members of Glee club? So this is the club membership of the Ormoc City National High School. So um, computer club, it's 60 degrees to the Glee club, which is 60 degrees. So if we can, because they are the same, so the ratio could be 60 is to 60 or simply 1 is to 1. Because it the same number. So, you could print, um, simplify this, 1 is 2, 1. The, mem the percentage of students are members. What percentage of the students are members of the drama club? So, for the drama club, it's 120 degrees. So, this is not the percentage, but this is just simply as the, the degrees. So, hindi, hindi to siya ang sagot. So, instead, kukunin natin yung percent. So, how... How, what percent of 360 is 120? So, kasi yung total nito lahat, lahat is 360 degrees. So, kukunin natin ang 120 divide natin by 360. Kasi ang 120, compare natin sa 360 to get the, the percentage. So, 120 divided by 360 it's one third. It's thirty three point thirty three percent. So the percentage is thirty three point thirty three percent. So thirty three point thirty three percent is our members of drama club. So next, uh, there are a total of two hundred forty students. How many member? How many are members of the mathematics club? So for the math club, it's forty, forty degrees. So una natin gagawin, kukunin natin yung percent tapos 40 divided by 360 that's 0 0.11 so 0 
is equal to 0 0.11 i-times natin siya sa 100 para makuha natin or ang 0 0.11 i-times natin agad sa 240 sa total so 240 so 240 times 0 0.11 the number is 26.4 26.4 or 20, 26. Simply 26. Kasi how many members? Kasi din na talang members. So, wala namang 0.4 na tao. So, we'll just go with the half 26. So, that's it for the mathematics club. So, the next question, number 5. De describe and interpret the results and test 2 and page 6. So, we're going to go back to page 6, test 2, and then we're going to describe the result. So, for me, this is my page 6. So, to describe the results, what you're going to do is like this. So, for example, Adele, this talks about the president. So, the number of voters who choose Adele as their president is 8. Is it 8 or 9? And then for Taylor, it's 3. For Justin, it's 4. For Bruno, it's 4. So in interpreting and describing this data, what you're going to do is just, this is going to state na see. Usually you start with from the highest. So Adele has the highest number of votes. And Bruno and Justin came second with four votes. Last is Taylor with three votes on the. So that's how you're going to interpret. So that's easy. Thank you very much.